Hi, and welcome again to Adulting with a Disability. Today, I'm going to talk about how to find a job. Have you ever heard of the phrase, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Well, today, that's going to come in handy. Today, I'll be sharing how to find a job when you have a disability. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you haven't done so and tap on the bell to get notifications. When you have a disability, it's not always easy to get a job, although things are improving. What I found in my life is that you don't always know if the job you're going for is in a building that's going to be wheelchair accessible. Secondly, you're competing against able-bodied people that don't have a disability. You'll probably look too hard to employ, even if you have more skills than someone else. It's unfortunately a fact of human nature. In my 20s, I cried lots when it came to getting a job. Knowing I was smart enough, but my body was letting me down. I remember one time when I wanted to be a web designer, I sent about 40 letters out to different companies to see if they would hire me. And I actually got three people call me. Unfortunately, I couldn't attend any of the interviews as their place of work was upstairs. It really hurt. I then tried going through a disability employment service and they got me an interview with Blacktown City Council who was looking to employ someone with a disability for an internship. They were looking to employ someone with a disability to fill their quotas. I was overqualified for the internship, but I didn't get the job because my disability was too severe, not what they were looking for. I then discovered that it sucked me to meet with employers and let them know who I was and what I was capable of. My next four jobs I got through networking and not necessarily going through advertised positions. I learned to build relationships with employers and CEOs and make one-on-one -on -one meetings happen to let them know that I was ready. This approach is great because it's a non-threatening way to meet someone and to share your strengths and abilities and also show them what you can offer the business and let them want to create a job for you. Having a person with a disability work for a company gives them a gold star. Just make sure you're doing a good job and that they're getting value for money. That's all for today. If you want me to explore the area of employment for someone with a disability, just leave me a comment about what you would like to hear about and I'll explore it further. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. See you next week. Bye for now.